This is the third of three videos that introduce you to the basics of the First Class 12 web client. In the first video, we explored these topics. In the second of the series, we covered these ones. In this final video, we'll cover the items on the right hand pane and the apps section My People, The Pulse, Chats, Updates, and custom applications. The My People pane on the right sidebar lists everyone that you have decided to follow because their activity particularly interests you and so acts as your personal buddy list. You can tell at a glance when anyone listed here is online, the green ball, or there is new activity in their blog, the red ball. To go to someone's blog and profile, just click their picture. When you hover over an entry in the list, a menu becomes available. You can use this menu to send an email to someone, to chat with them, or to stop following them and remove them from your people list. In another video, we'll show you how to add more people to your My People list. Every time someone updates their status or adds to their blog, a new entry appears in the pulse. Each system might have many different pulses, and which one you belong to is determined by your administrator. It is also possible to comment on a pulse entry. The chats pane on the right sidebar lists everyone with whom you've had an online chat. To reopen a chat with someone, click that person and you will see the comments that were made previously while chatting with this person. If someone adds to a chat or creates a new one, you will notice the red notification badge appear on the chat pane. The Updates pane in the right sidebar contains two sections, Watched Items and Invitations. Hovering over items in these sections display their menus. The Watched Items section shows items that you are watching for activity. You may want, for example, to know when a message is replied to or a document is updated. The Invitations section shows any invitations you have received to join communities. The apps bar under your home page lists any web applications that have been provided by your administrator. These will vary from site to site and in-house or third-party developers can create applications that will provide you to direct access to other web services. Developers will have access to the user's session information such as their user ID or client ID and will be able to store personal information specific to the user running the application. To run one of these applications Click on it. So that's an overview of the basics of First Class 12. Watch the other videos and review the online help documentation to help you get the most out of your First Class experience.